What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? I'm going to show you top 40 of the best iOS 12.4 jailbreak tweaks. By the time I upload this video, hopefully the iOS 12.4 A12 jailbreak will be out. In which case, if it is, that's awesome. You guys can install tweaks and customize your device and make it unique. Dune mimics iOS 13's dark mode style. However, it only themes the notifications view as well as the widgets view. All you have to do to enable Dune is 3D touch on the brightness platter and then go ahead and select the appearance to dark, just like on iOS 13. Axon splits up all of your notifications by app, giving your notification view a better interface. Install Protect 12 makes you authenticate with Touch ID or Face ID before being able to install Package Insidia. Simple LS2 has a couple of different things to it. You can customize a lock screen and there's also an always on display. Inevitable isn't really useful, but it's one of those really funny tweaks that I thought was really cool and I just wanted to put it on this list. By the way, you can't really snap to activate it. You have to use activator gestures, but I still think for the novelty of it, it's a pretty cool tweak. Cylinder is the spiritual successor to Barrel that basically makes page-to-page -page transitions look really cool. If you like Apple's new iOS 13 volume HUD, you can download 13 HUD and have it on iOS 12. With Smoothie, you can make your page-to-page -page transitions look kind of smooth and pretty cool. Downlocker 2 lets you lock your device simply by just placing it face down. And then once you pick it up, it'll prompt you with your passcode. Gestures 10S lets you have the iPhone 10 and above gestures without all of the in-between stuff like the home bar and all of the stuff that you might not necessarily want. It's just the gestures. Pull to respring just lets you pull down on your settings to respring. Force in picture lets you have native picture in picture mode on iPhone. Reprovision automatically resigns any app that you want. This is useful for things like uncover. Dragger gives you native drag and drop functionality on iPhone. If I tap and hold on something that I want to drag and drop and then I press the home button and say for example I go into notes and I can just put it right there. Edit 3D adds a rearrange apps 3D touch toggle like on iOS 13 to iOS 12. Shy labels hides your app labels and only shows them when you swipe from page to page. Banner copied lets you copy any notification that you get and then paste it anywhere you want. Fast forward time adds a seconds view to the lock screen. Free market replaces the get text that you normally see on a free app in the app store with text that says free. Small Siri minimizes your Siri view and makes it much smaller and much more elegant. Swipe selection has been around forever, but it lets you move the cursor just by sliding from side to side on your keyboard. You could do this on iOS by default using 3D touch or haptic touch, but it doesn't give off the same effect. Tap Tap Flip lets you rotate your camera just by double tapping on the screen. Pencil Charging Indicator gives you an Apple Pencil style interface when you plug in your device to charge it. Tap Video Config lets you configure your iPhone's video quality when recording straight through the camera app. JB Stickers is a pretty cool tweak because it adds a jailbreak related sticker pack to your iOS device. It's pretty cool because obviously it's something you likely wouldn't see in the app store and it also shows up on every device that's compatible with stickers even if it's not jailbroken. If an app has multiple page views, Fluid Tabs makes it possible to swipe from page to page in that app. When launching an application, Blurry Launch gives off a sort of blur effect. Stick Around lets you pin certain settings panes to the top so that way you can easily access them. Serial is a convenient utility that'll let you know the date that an iPhone has been manufactured so that way if you want to upgrade to a different device and jailbreak it, you will be able to do that. Narrate gives you a new redesigned now playing interface on the lock screen. With Clear Badges 3D Touch 10, all I have to do is just 3D Touch on an application that has a notification and then hit Clear Badge Notification. Sugarcane gives you percentages for your volume and your brightness in the Control Center view. CC Linker links your Control Center shortcuts to their corresponding settings page. Normally, if you're installing something in Cydia, you have to tap Restart Springboard, but with this tweak, you can tap Close and get back to whatever it is you were doing. Notes character count lets you simply see what your character count is when you're typing something in the notes app. Even though it's closer to Halloween than it is to Christmas time, you can still be festive with Snowverlay. This tweak shows up across your device. There is also an enable or disable switch so you can turn it off. These two tweaks have been around for a while and I much prefer icon cert over this. Icon cert just looks better, but with these tweaks, you can tell when your certificate is about to expire. Again, this is useful for things like Uncover, where you have to go and re-sign the application every seven days if you do have a free developer account. Unlock Sound brings back the familiar unlock sound to iOS 12. 
Mitsuha Infinity gives you really cool visualizers on the home screen and lock screen and basically throughout your whole device. It's actually really cool and I really enjoy it. Docky is pretty cool and lets you have an infinite amount of apps in your dock. There's also a couple of different styles as well and you can pick which one you like the best. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well, letting me know what your favorite tweak that I showed off is. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new video. And until next time, have a good one guys. Peace.